Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we're going to be looking at this right here. This is a dongle DAC and you plug this into your computer or your phone um, and you can listen to music. Now this comes with this USB-C to C cable. It also comes with an Apple cable and it also comes with a adapter for a PC and mine for some reason came with another cable that isn't braided like this but this is nice. Um, let's get into some of the specs on this. This also from FIO, FIO or FIO, however you want to say it. Uh, it's a, also a Jade Audio product, which is one of their brands. It's a sub-brand. What you have here is um, dual CS43131 DAC chips. And you also have dual 8262 OP amplifiers. It supports PCM up to 384 kilohertz, and my printer's going crazy, which I haven't used the printer in like three weeks. 32-bit uh, DSD up to 256. Uh, you have the 3.5 millimeter single-ended and the 4.4 millimeter dual uh, outputs. And you get it in either silver or black. I get the black, obviously. It has dedicated buttons and a D mode, which is desktop mode, where I guess you get the most power out of it. And that's pretty much it on the package. And you get a manual inside, of course, because you're going to need the manual. So 550 milliwatts of power. So they call this a mini desktop amplifier. So this thing is powerful. It's probably one of the most powerful. I'd have to go back and check the um, the Go Bar Kenzie and the Quest style. I, I'm I'm pretty sure this is more powerful than the Quest style, but the Go Bar Kenzie I am not sure. I just recently did the Link Max, and this is probably double or triple the power out of that one. So let's see. You get the adapters. We've covered all of that stuff. See, you have a C to C, Type C cable, C to Lightning cable, C to A cable. That's weird because I got a C to I got an extra C to to C cable in my package, so I don't know if that was a screw up or not. Manual warranty card, limited one year, and that's it for under the spec. So let's get into the sound on this. Okay, the sound on this. I mean, it isn't it the most neutral of all the ones that I've had uh, so far. It is it is in the neutral ballpark, but uh, there is, uh, you know, that Cirrus Logic chip a little bit brighter on the top, a little bit good dynamics at the bottom. Uh, so it's more toward balanced, I would say. It's more of a balanced sound. Uh, excellent details, micro details, regular details there. You can hear everything just the way it was recorded, every little thing. That said, like MP3s will still sound good on this, but more or less maybe, you know, we're in the park of, it may not like really crappy files, you know, that said. So it'll be fickle. Uh, it powers headphones really well. Even some of the better headphones that I have uh, worked pretty good. Even the planar magnetics sounded decent. Maybe not quite enough power for that. But, you know, it, it powered them uh, to, a, to a decent volume. Like I said, you're going to get a, neck, a nice volume out of this. Uh, don't worry about it. The, the, pit, the background is pitch black. So don't worry about, like, uh, hard to drive things or extremely sensitive things because it will drive them i have my lights on and they just suddenly every light in the house just dimmed to like a dim dim thing you probably can't see it on there but uh it's very disconcerting to me uh looking at uh my notes now so it was very very good with details we covered that already um Sound stage on it, depending on what you were listening to and everything. Uh, very, very good. There's some accurate imaging, good placement, great separation, good clarity with this, uh, depth and width and everything. Uh, you know, even with a busy, busy track, uh, and, and tr some tracks of the music, like some of the, the 90s and 2000 music, had that kind of compression and that, that, that graininess to them. It comes through and it sounds great and it, it doesn't sound horrible. Uh, 
I think no matter what you're going to be listening to music-wise, this will sound quite good on it because you're going to get all that detail and everything. And it is a very nice balanced kind of signature. So that said, plenty of power, good specs, uh, solid build quality, and it looks good. Probably looks better in the silver, which I should have probably gotten. I like the physical buttons and the switch, which is kind of a gain switch. And that's about it. There's not much to say. It's a dongle DAC. You plug it into your phone or your computer or whatever. I'm probably going to use this basically on the phone. Uh, maybe the Switch if it actually supports it, but it really doesn't support like 90% of the dongles that I have. And that's about it. Very good dongle DAC. The Fio Jade Audio uh, KA13. Roughly about $79 to $59 depending on where you look. Thank you again for watching. Be safe, and I'll see you in the next video.